All right, where the fuck did it go? Oh, this lightning is doing a number to my power grid. Got her. You holding it together up there? This blasted storm is kicking animal around in a bad way. We need to clean this up quick and get out of here. Yeah, it's bad. But I didn't come all this way to quit now. I'm seeing this out Where is he? Here. However this is. Fucking ass. Boosh. Oh, not again with this bullshit. This is so stupid. Uh, well, at least the beam turrets will hit it. Since I can't. I'm hitting its ass with its fucking rockets, but I don't know if it's even doing anything. How the fuck can I tell if it's working or not? Am I supposed to maybe get a hawk and fly around with a hawk and shoot it? That could be a possibility too. It's supposed to be an air battle. He's getting hits because I am getting force. Oh shit, went back again. My fucking supply depot. Damn it. I can't get more rockets. Here we go again with this shit. Damn it! Fucking 
hundred turrets attacking it. Bullets gonna take. Oh my god. This is it. This rig has got to count. Alright, better fucking work. <laughs> I did it. Silver completion. Oh. Multifaceted boss fight. Multi level. Rest in peace, say? Logan. So now that that's all wrapped up, how's about we get the hell out of here? Ugh. All right. Finally. Kick his fucking ass. As before, I left Sever without Logan. But this time, he's finally at rest. All this... It started with a spark. A flash of blue gold. It still burns across this land. That'll never change. And as for the people out here, the rift energy will always be with us. It's our fortune. Fucking guy with his monocle. <laughs> In the end, it doesn't run through just one of us. It connects us all. Huh. Very, I don't know, this game, I felt... I felt this game was actually very reminiscent of something like a Red Faction Guerrilla. Um, in regards to the fact that you're like third person running around doing lots of destruction. There's a variety of weapons. Obviously the ability to fly this shit in to, to create vehicles and stuff is different. But essentially what the campaign of this game ends up being is like a four to five hour tutorial of how to actually play the game in multiplayer. Which is the main focus of the game. So, uh... You know, it wasn't bad, it was just there were, I'd say definitely there in levels 9 and levels 10, especially level 9, it just kept going on and on, it's like, okay, first kill, you know, first destroy all these drop ships, then fucking kill all the ground forces, then kill all the turrets on this giant machine, then take out the fucking jets that came, then get the torpedoes and take out the sides, then take out the center, it's like, holy fuck, how many levels do you have me to go through just to beat one chapter of the game, wow, but, uh, Overall, not not too bad, just a little bit bland, I think. The game, it does, it does feel like a little bit generic, uh, with, with the only real uniqueness of the game being that it's all about, you know, calling down and, and uh, you know, resource management, calling out the right things at the right times. Okay, I have a car now, or now I need a tower, now I need a, a hawk or whatever. I'm interested to see how the game plays out in multiplayer when I play it, because... You know, right now for the campaign, after it'll call out for a certain thing. Like, uh oh, there's an airstrike coming in. You know, get the towers out. But you're not, you're not going to know that in multiplayer. You're not going to know what's coming. So how are people going to play this game on the fly? I'm actually interested to see that. And now, an unused song for the soundtrack of the game. Blue Gold! It 
comes out of the ground and I rub it on my chest. Blue gold, oh yeah. I love to drink it. And then for some reason my feces are blue too. Blue gold. <laughs> yes. Dun 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 dun. There's the harmonica soloist. I told you someone was playing the harmonica. <laughs> Guys, like, yes, finally my chance to get paid to play this stupid thing. Once every ten years. <laughs> Here's a cast. Captain Bennett, Lloyd Scherer. That actually sounds familiar. I don't think he was Green Lantern. I think he did a couple of other things. Oh, Steve Blum was in here as Radio Chatter and Sheriff Tracy Howell. That's why I recognized his voice. But, uh, Lloyd Scherer. Hmm. I'm sure I've heard of another stuff. Let's face it, half these people didn't do anything for this fucking game. This is bullshit. <laughs> I don't believe this for a second that all these people did stuff on this game. Come on. care about this shit. When you think about it, I care about the people who made the game. I don't care about the people who are the marketing department for the fucking game and who made the poster for the game. You know? That's not... Uh, these fucking credits, man. They're ridiculous. They're absolutely ridiculous. Too much shit. Alright, here's a special thanks. Alright. So that is it for the single player campaign of Starhawk. Like I said, it was a. Oh, wait, it's not. Sorry, here comes some more bullshit credits for people who didn't fucking do anything on this game. Oh my god. Please let that be the end of the credits. Please, Lord. Alright, we're done. Oh my god. No, we're not done. I forgot. It's a Sony... <laughs> I, I totally... I botched this. It's a Sony Studios game. Sony Computer Entertainment. That means they have to give plugs to every fucking division of Sony ever. The guy who invented the fucking Sony Walkman has to be in the credits. Come on, man. Fuck this. Oh, this is stupid bullshit. They're gonna run out of music. They did. Isn't this the first song they played? I think they're repeating songs now.
Fuck it, stupid Sony. We must plug everything. We used Scott tissue, toilet paper during the production of this game. Yes. This is ridiculous. Are you kidding me, Sony fucking Japan? Put these credits where the game is sold. This version of the game isn't fucking sold in Japan, so why are the Japanese fucking credits in this game? Lazy motherfuckers. So lazy. Oh, there's that harmonica dude, I told you. He's so happy he gets paid. There he goes. Alright, here we go. Sony Bangladesh. Another... What? They just did Japan! They're doing Japan again? What is this? They just did Japan! This is ridiculous. Asia. Sony Denmark. Uh, it's not done. Sony India. No, Sony Latin America. Oh, oh my god, it's so stupid. Fuck you people. Who's the credit? I want to know who designed the credits. I want to fucking slap them. Oh my god, the credits are longer than the campaign of the game. <laughs> Holy shit. Ooh, speed tree, havoc. Yeah, we know. We know. Every game uses these things, man. <laughs> this is not. This is not private knowledge. This is commonly known stuff. We know everyone uses havoc. We know everyone uses fucking bink. Oh my goodness. All right. So I'm just curious. Do you unlock anything for beating the campaign? Nope. Alright, so that is it for the single player campaign of Starhawk. As you saw, it pretty much is like a tutorial of the, everything of the game. And uh, now I'm excited for tomorrow. Uh, I'm actually going to do some matches with my fans uh, all day long. And uh, be setting up private servers. And uh, if you're obviously if you're watching this live, you know, the day of release, then uh, yeah, it's going to be Wednesday, May 9th. I'll be playing all day so, er, from early afternoon Eastern Standard Time until the night. So keep your eyes on my Twitter account, at They Call Me DSP, or my Facebook, which is just They Call Me DSP. And uh, I'll be posting up information on how to join there. And uh, this is not relevant information if it's after May 9th, so uh, disregard if you're watching this afterwards. All right, thanks a lot. Later.